I am looking swifty. That way or that way? Yeah, boy. What is that? The bell lap. Yeah, boy. I'm doing this. What? In this race, I again take on the Seaside Sprint Course on the Stage 3 of April's Zwift Racing Series. I did so well in the last race, that was the day before, that was yesterday in this video, and yesterday's video was also that same race. It's the video where I discover that I can actually sprint. If you haven't done so already, please go and watch yesterday's video before this one, as this video will be more context for this video. I've left the link in the description. This is my second attempt at stage three of the Lap It Up series this month in April, Seaside Sprint. I did it yesterday. It was the closest I've ever come to a win. I had a proper sprint of over 700 watts, and I came in second just behind uh, a guy that was just slightly too strong for me. So yeah, this is my second attempt at coming for that win first across the banner. I've got a good feeling about this. Right, okay. I've got just over two minutes to go. Um, I have zero warm up. However, I have my Zwift hat on as well. I just feel like I need to say that. I've got Nathan from On The Rivet and In The Drops podcast. Um, he's gonna do some kind of messaging DSing with me. He's watching me on Zwift Power and he's in the chat. So uh, yeah, he's just popped up which I really appreciate. Our podcast producer, Nathan Craig, offered to DS me for this race in chat. I'm still not 100% sure what DSing is, and as you watch this video, I will make that abundantly obvious. However, I wasn't gonna say no to a learning opportunity. What's the worst that can happen? Bring it on, Nathan. So yeah, thank you, Nathan, for following me along on this race. I've already told him I'm not gonna be answering because I can't multitask. Please go and check out Nathan's YouTube channel called On The Rivet. He streams his races and makes them look even more of a suffer fest than I do, which I thought was a massive achievement. I didn't know that was even possible. His link is in the description. Three, two, one. So I wasn't aware of how he was even watching me. It only dawned on me later that you can fan view someone racing in Zwift, which is what he was doing. And then he was direct messaging me. He Only I could see his messages. This actually worked quite well, as it was good to have Nathan there to support me. I really appreciate this. We're off. Relatively casual start. Nathan saying sit three bikes back, which is roughly where I am, I think. I'm roughly in like the third row of this pack. So there's about 15, 16 of us. Uh, there's a couple chasing to try and catch on. Yeah, so far so good. Just want to get up this climb. My legs haven't warmed up yet. I learnt the course from yesterday's race and knew to ensure I pushed this first incline off the start line. That's the mistake I made yesterday. Because riders still feel fresh, they push harder than normal into the climb, meaning that heavier riders like me can then get dropped. I do not want to have to use what I need for my explosive sprint finish. I am 100% planning on replicating the ending to yesterday's race in this race, except I hope to come first instead of second. There's no way I'm uh, getting dropped this early. Not on the rollers. I am also hopeful I can control this race now I'm feeling a little bit more confident that I know the route. When I eventually make my next what I've learned about Zwift video, I am 100% gonna include knowing the courses ahead of time. It makes a huge difference. Now knowing this route ahead of time gives me a boost in confidence as well as a slight tactical advantage on yesterday Ryan, who was riding blind. So now having said all of that, that I don't wanna be dropped on the rollers at the start, I then get dropped on the rollers at the start. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem in that there's a pack that's formed and I can't allow that. 
I then have to push, increasing my watt so I can catch back on, helping those around me to inadvertently bridge up to the small lead group. My heart rate monitor is also playing up, probably because I haven't charged it in about two months. So on hindsight, in edit, now knowing the outcome of this race, I do not know why these riders push so hard off the start line if they know they're gonna burn out before the end. Ah. Ah. Aye, aye, aye. Chill out guys, it's a longish race, save your energy. I can push like this all day. You're not dropping me. It's that simple. Okay, that was a bit of an erratic start. I need everyone to chill out, calm down. I'm going a bit fast there. Eh? I need to remind myself that I'm heavier than most people on the downhill. So I have to ease off otherwise I go right to the front. But we're on the flat section. Right, I'm using the draft as Nathan said. Good lad Nathan, ease right off, okay. I'm easing off. I'm gonna push the climb. Right, this is the climb. Uh, heart rate monitor started working now. Okay, here we go. Having now successfully climbed into the volcano, I now feel really confident. I'm enjoying this course, one of the best I've raced in a long time. Seaside Sprint is now my favorite course. Definitely better than the bloody Champs-Élysées. Champs-Élysées. Oh, cheers, Nathan. <sighs> Nathan seems to have a lot of confidence in me. I appreciate that, Nathan. Thank you very much. I see the front. Don't be the front. Okay, we're doing well. Feel good? See the front. Don't be the front. I love that. Heart rate, heart rating. Okay, we're doing okay. I've warmed up nicely now. In fact, fan's going on. Okay, we're on the rollers. Fan's on. Heart rate's good. So at this point, Nathan is looking at other riders on Zwift Power, something I've seen more experienced racers do in their live streams. Okay, Kramer 1047. You've got the best sprint, apparently. And something I have never done before. This is good knowledge. Knowing who to watch out for and maybe even try to tire out if they've got a good sprint, <laughs> tactically. Also V Michael. Okay, he's way behind. But Nathan has given me names of riders we have already dropped and are way behind us. So they've got no chance of catching back on. It's a good idea in principle, just not the names Nathan's giving me. <laughs> I then got distracted talking to Nathan in the chat, lost my bearings and didn't use my power up in the right place. I needed to have used this feather on the incline, not 20% okay. of it on the decline. I won't be making that mistake again. Where's that last climb? Is this it? Is this it? Yeah, I didn't use it. Okay. I need to pay attention. I'm now wasting 20% of it downhill. I then gathered a lot of speed up on the decline without really pedaling and I felt really good, motivated to win even. So I decided to annoy my DSing partner, Nathan, and go for the sprint jersey for absolutely no reason whatsoever. <laughs> I'm getting told off. <laughs> Sorry, Nathan. 
I know I need to be at the back in the draft or even behind the third rider, but for some reason, I'm feeling really confident and a little bit mischievous in this race. A feeling I haven't had before in Zwift. It's new and I like the feeling. I'm at the back. No. <laughs> No sprint jersey, okay, sorry. I've currently got a carefree to hell with the consequences feeling, a feeling that I know will make for good videos. I'm not 100% sure though that it will make for good winning. Okay, here we go, we climb. I absolutely power into the volcano, comfortably get into the top, just behind the leaders, and I come off the power, allowing the rest of the pack to form just in front of me. Perfect. Okay, good. <clears throat> I need a drink. I'm not. I took my eye off the ball to have a drink. It's okay, I'm back. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you. Okay. I feel good. I feel worryingly good. Hey, it's true. He can hear me. That was spooky. I actually thought he could hear me for a second. He can't hear me. It's all on text. But yeah, I feel really good. Nathan does a really good job helping me and keeping me entertained on this ride. He tells me that the leaders, wall balls or W balls are red and mine is green. I don't know what wall balls are, but I'm assuming green is good. So thanks, Nathan. I just asked him, sprint jersey again? <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Oh, you can't see my text responses. Oh, I'm getting dropped. I do feel really, really good in this race. My diet and supplements recently have helped me to be able to race pretty much every day and stay. <laughs> relatively energized to keep racing. I have many running events upcoming, so I've changed my routine slightly to include more run training for these events. And this includes my diet, so I need more carbs. I'm less focused on losing weight and more on increasing my energy levels. And my supplements have helped me with my energy as well. This has also helped in my Zwift racing a lot, as you can tell probably from the races yesterday and today. If I keep feeling like this, then I know a win is coming really soon. I feel so good, I decide to tease Nathan again, who is desperate to help me get my first win. Too busy chatting. Tell me to stop typing, because I'm too busy replying to him. I'm sorry, Nathan, again, I apologize. If you're watching this, I am sorry. I am a bad Daniel son or Padawan. I am also not very good at wax on and wax off. <laughs> Messing about in the DMs to Nathan, I then start to get dropped. So I have to catch back on, uh, but don't worry, these are the rollers and I like the rollers. If I power into them, I'm really good on them. Okay, we're just coming up to, is it the big climb? I think, what oh, the big-ish push. Yeah, this is it. Okay. And power up. So as we cross the banner into the last lap, I get serious. No more sprint jerseys, no more messaging, no more messing about. This is where I need to get to work.
Okay, feather up, power up. What? Feather, power up, up the climb, okay. Okay, we're coming up to the volcano climb. Power up, gone. I then get up the volcano climb for the last time relatively easily and I'm now feeling really confident as I now know they can't drop me unless they want to burn all their matches pushing really hard and even then I don't think they can drop me because I won't give up. I will say that this is a really good leading group. They push the climbs and they keep the pace up on the flats. This is going to be a good finish. I then decide to overrule Nathan. Again, sorry mate, I need the power up for my explosive sprint power and speed tactic. No, not now, Nathan. Too early. I need it for the sprint. I'm overriding you. Sorry, sir. So I'll power into the climb, no point holding anything back now. I know this pack are relatively powerful up the climb and I know they're gonna push. I then see Wright, Toms, King and Baptiste put down the power on the right hand side and I go for it. They're all in. This is good because I can now use the descent, gravity and my weight to slingshot me through their leading draft and I also get the draft boost power up as well. So, with my heart rate about to hit 190, let's fucking go. Only 60 meters left to the line. B King pipped me, dropping nine watts per kg. Fair play to them. They smashed it. I'm really pleased to have peaked in excess of 700 watts again, second race running, and probably more importantly, holding these higher watts for longer. My one minute power also improved to 4.4 watts per kg, my highest in a race so far. As you can tell from my reaction, a stark contrast to yesterday's video, <sighs> I thought I'd had this win. I thought I'd got this. I thought I had it in the bag. So I was disappointed. So, so close. Thank you, Nathan, for your DSing. I really enjoyed that race. You definitely helped me. Thank you for watching this video, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment as it really helps the algorithm promote my videos and indirectly supports me. I've got more videos incoming and hopefully that elusive win. It's got to be soon. This was another really good video, by the way. And I keep saying this after each video, but uh, I really do. Races like this feel that the last 12 months of practice, training, and learning is starting to pay off. I am so close to a win. Thanks for watching. Oh. Ah.
Ah, oh, man. Second. Thank you, Nathan. Can't believe that. Second place.